What's up, everyone? Welcome back to week three, episode three of Sketchy Sundays. In today's episode, we've got quite a few topics to discuss, got some games I want to talk about, got some new things going on in the channel. So, you know, let's not waste any time and let's get into it. So overall, my last week was fairly interesting. I was traveling for work, so I don't really have that much time to stream and upload. I did get some videos out relating to MK and all that and Samurai Showdown. I forgot the name for a second. I've been playing Samurai Showdown. It's actually a fun game, except for the fact that it's incredibly difficult to get games. I don't know if it's just my region, but most of the players I meet, or maybe I just play at weird times, are either American or Japanese, and the connection is incredibly shit. So that's been my main issue, even though I'm super, super enjoying the game. I think the game is really good, but, you know, it is what it is. But that's what's been happening on the weekday. Uh, this weekend, especially yesterday, I started a brand new game in streaming. And that brand new game is Dark Souls 3 The Crossbow Run. I thought that it is finally time to complete the trilogy. I mean, I've done one, I've done one twice actually, because I did remaster as well. Did Dark Souls 2, which was interesting, and now we're on to Dark Souls 3, which is probably going to prove to be the most interesting one, because the limitations placed on crossbows, as in you can only carry two types of ammo, you can only have 99 bolts, there's quite a few limitations, so in terms of this run, it's going to be an interesting one, and generally just how Dark Souls 3 plays, you know. I know a lot of people on the channel are not the biggest fans of Dark Souls 3, some people are, but... Hey, you know, this is the thing. I said this before when I was discussing the potential for this playthrough. I have to complete the trilogy. There's no way I could leave one of these games out if I was doing a crossbow run. So that's what's going to be happening. That's game number one that I'm going to be covering for a couple of weeks. Uh, generally, what I'll be doing is one of the weekday streams and the Saturday stream will be uh, Dark Souls 3. The other game is, well, there's a couple of options now. Uh, one of the options for games that I might do on the third day of streaming is probably Smash. Uh, Smash Ultimate, I've been playing a ton. As I was traveling, I played a ton because I was flying, you know, in the hotel and all that. I've been practicing up on my... U I almost said YouTube. I've been practicing up on my Mewtwo. Uh, it's almost the same thing, right? Who gives a shit? But uh, see, the thing is... Uh, the normal Switch controller, I obviously didn't take my... Uh, Pro Controller, uh, it's very difficult to play any sort of like, you know, precision game on it. That's one of the, I think, the main disadvantages of the Switch, that the, like, the default controller is so shitty, especially for action games. But again, I've been practicing, so I think I'm brushed up. Uh, whether on streaming I'll do, like, fights against people or just online, I don't know. We've talked about this before, so that's probably gonna be, well, that's one option for the second game. The other option is actually a game that's coming out in two days, uh, and this transitions well into my other topic, which is all the Souls-like games that are going to be coming out uh, in the next couple of months, slash years, especially the next couple of months, there are quite a few. The first one being Remnant from the Ashes, probably the most generic title you could ever have. Uh, Remnant from the Ashes is releasing in two days, August 20th. If you don't know what Remnant from the Ashes is, it's a Souls third-person shooter game. And not a shitty third-person shooter Souls like, what was the other one called? Immortal Unchained, that's the one. <laughs> Immortal Unchained, I thought about picking that one up, but I heard it's a pile of shit, so I'm not gonna pick it up. However, the initial reactions to Remnant from the Ashes are fairly positive. There's some like... There's a story to the game, but I also heard there's like um, some randomly generated content, especially with the dungeons. They kind of took the Chalice dungeon concept from Bloodborne and kind of updated it. Listen, I'm interested in the game. I'm super interested, and I think I'm going to be picking it up. August 20th is Tuesday, so what I'm probably going to do... I mean, Tuesday is going to be a weird day for me because it's like a big holiday in Hungary, and there's basically a music festival going on near where I live and I want to go. So I won't be able to stream uh, like at night, but I might pick up Remnant and stream sometime during the day. I'll announce it uh, either on the YouTube community post or on my Discord. Shout out to my Discord, by the way, if you want to follow it. It's in the description. Uh, I'll probably play a couple of hours uh, on, screen, on stream. It's basically the same thing 
on screen and on stream. I'll see how I like the game and if I like really enjoy it and if you guys enjoy it as well, I'll continue that as my secondary game. If not, you guys don't like it or maybe I don't like it as much or it's not like well suited for streaming that game, I'll just go on and do Smash. So that's gonna be the thing that I'll uh, kind of decide on. So again, in terms of streaming schedule for next week, I'll definitely stream tomorrow. I'll stream the Tuesday one with Immortal, I mean, not, not Immortal, uh, Remnant from the Ashes is going to be kind of like a one-off thing. It's basically a test. And if I like the game, I'll continue on Wednesday either with that or with Smash. And then on Friday, we're going to have... Uh, not Friday, what am I talking about? On Saturday, we're going to have um, Dark Souls 3 again. Get my own streaming schedule incorrect, so what can I say? Anyways, speaking of the other Souls likes, again, there's a couple coming out. The big one, of course, is going to be Elden Rings, which is releasing next year. I already made a whole video about it. But the other one that people kind of discussed yesterday in my stream and people have been wanting me to check out is Code Vein, which is touted as, you know, the big like anime Souls. You know, that's kind of the tagline that's been tagged onto this game. Listen, I've seen the game. I haven't played it, so... Any kind of judgment is purely from what I've seen. People have said the game is more fun to play than it is to watch. However, I'm going to be honest with you. I am not like hugely impressed. This is probably going to piss a couple of people off. I don't know. Here's the thing. The game, it looks very, very slow. Uh, it's like a very slow paced game, like looking game. And I don't know, like the combat, it just something feels off about the game. Something from what I've seen in the gameplay and from what I've read about it kind of tells me that it's going to be one of those perfect, like, 6.5 to 7 out of 10 games. You know, it's like, it's okay, but, you know, not like, not like anything amazing. But hey, I could be completely wrong. The game is releasing, I think, next month, this month. Some people, I, th I, don't, I don't remember when the game is releasing, I'll put my hand up and admit my miss, but it's releasing very soon and people have been wanting me to check it out. I'm gonna hold off on the game, I'll see initial reviews, but again, I'm just a tiny, tiny bit apprehensive about Code Vein so far. Unlike Remnant from the Ashes, because I've seen Remnant from the Ashes and I'm down with that game, like, I'm definitely gonna pick it up. If it's not to my liking or it's not to you guys' liking, I will... Um, just play it on my own because it looks fun. It's a fun sh like I I like shooters. You know, it's going around dodge rolling and shooting it. Actually, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of I don't know if you remember. I did a playthrough of it like way way back. Probably no one here has been around back then. Of that Space Marine game that came out a while back. It reminds me of that. You know, like essentially a third person shooter, but you also have dodge rolling. And you also have melee combat. So it reminds me of that. And that game was a fucking blast. That game was such a fun game. Uh, so hopefully it captures that. Making it maybe like... It could be a bit more difficult. Because Space Marine was easy as hell. So if it's that, I'm down. The final thing I wanted to discuss with you guys. Uh, and I'll make kind of like a community poll. Kind of voting thing for it as well is my streaming time. As you know, currently I stream 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central European time on weekends and uh, 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. CET on weekdays. However, I've been kind of doing some, you know, quick maths and I figured out that I could very easily stream from 9 as well. Uh, this question is directed specifically to overseas people. Like, if I move the stream schedule to an hour later, would that be okay with you? So, you know, let me know in the comments which one. Do you prefer 8 p.m.? Do you prefer 9 p.m.? Again, this is Central European time, so uh, Eastern time, so like East Coast time is six hours behind. Because I know one of the problems with streaming from here is that it's kind of early for a lot of people, especially if they're in school or at work or some shit like that. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me know. I've been thinking of streaming times and when was it? I had the last Bloodborne stream. I started it a bit later and like a lot more people showed up. So that makes me wonder whether uh, that time frame kind of would be better for people. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know, guys. I'm happy to take any suggestions. Generally, later than that wouldn't be okay with because I got work as well. But 8 p.m., 9 p.m., don't care. 
let me know in these comments or I'll have a poll up about it as well. So yeah, that's gonna, I think, conclude week three, episode three of Sketchy Sundays. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be checking out Remnant. Maybe later on I'll check out Code Vein. Check out the first Dark Souls 3 stream. Uh, it will be at the end of this video, the link to it. And yeah, hope to see you on my streams. Hope to see you on my videos. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next week. Goodbye.